This week on Sailing Lady Africa, we say goodbye to Cape Town. Ricky makes our kitchen counter trims. We show you how we made our cabinet trimming and we fit them in. We spent a lovely day with Donovan, Kristen and baby Axel in Cape Town before we had to catch our flight back to Port Elizabeth and get back to finishing up Lady Africa. In the horizon, you can see Table Mountain. Nous avons développé la vitesse pour nous enfermer en nous-mêmes. Notre savoir nous a fait devenir cyniques. Nous sommes inhumains à force d'intelligence. Nous ne ressentons pas assez et nous pensons beaucoup trop. Nous sommes trop mécaniques et nous manquons de temps. Je dis à tous ceux qui ne vous tenez pas à ces brutes, à une minorité qui vous méprise et qui fait de vous des esclaves en régiment toute votre vie et qui vous dit ce qu'il faut faire. So that's what it looks like when we're traveling. <laughs> Good. My big backpack. Simone's got hers. Come on, Blinky. Blinky. Laptop bag for the editing. Run. And phew, this bag's heavy. What's happening? Huh? What's happening? Huh? Where did it go? We're taking the lead. What? Taking the lead. We're taking the lead. Push trolley now. Push trolley. <laughs> Where do we gotta go? So we gotta gate C12. Charlie 12. Charlie 12. I'm busy working on finishing up the edging. As you can see, the edging on the door is done. That back cabin over there. The edging over here is done. So we've put that one on, it's fixed in place. The frame is done. This frame here for the door is done. It's been sanded down nicely. And those have all been sanded down because we're gonna get reveals for all of them CNC cut. Here's what I'm doing now. And that's the edging for, for, the, for the front here. To leave a little bit of a lap and also finish it off a little bit better. How I do it is, because we've got an uh, uh, angle over here, as you can see, so I just put it up against there, and I take a ruler and I draw straight, it's just not straight now because I got it against the side there, but yeah, I put it up against there, draw the line straight, and that allows me to get a nice, a nice join once I connect up into there. The rest of the cabins, frames are in. That back edging is in, fillets are done on the floor, except for that one, someone stepped in it, we're going to have to fix that one. So the fillets are done, the back trims on the fuel tank sections are done, and we've also prepped these windows to take the new frames that are going to go in there that are getting CNC cut. So we've got these these clamps that we got this week and yes so they've been really they've been awesome man <laughs> i don't know why i didn't find them before i thought they're actually really expensive and we actually got them on a, on a sale and they were a good price but we've gone so like in that room over there we've done a single a single border just an edging but here i'm thinking of going on this 
it's a double profile so it's the the the, the front one is is just a single and then i just add an edging on today to give it a nice thick border So we've got that one getting glued in now and um, put one or two screws to hold it in place so it's holding on there but the two the clamps are just to to do this joint here between the, the two so if you look on the inside it'll have like a 20 millimeter recess and to allow things from not sliding or whatever the case may be Ricky did some CAD drawings to get our cabinet trimming CNC cut and I grabbed some coffee. We chose to do this because we wouldn't be able to get it perfect the way the machine could. And it saved us a ton of time. So as we get them back, they look like that, and they've got this tiny little bit of fluff on the edges. So this is, I think it's 100 grit. Yeah, so you take P100 grit sandpaper. Just do that. Take off the inside. Of That's what they look like afterwards. They're super nice, and this stuff is, weighs like nothing. So now we'll route to the outside edge. The inside edge stays nice and straight. And then we give it the second sanding. The second sanding is just to smooth off. If you feel the edge and you feel slightly sharp, then that must be smoothed out. And then we'll, thinking of clamping these, but I might get some small screws, four holes, uh, put a base of epoxy around and epoxy the frame in. And then we'll do epoxy fill it around. It looked like it was came out of a mold instead of being a build up or out of wood pretty much so that's the idea so i just want to show you guys how many frames we're going to do there's moses sanding so it's all of those frames all of those frames all of those frames and we've already sanded those i'm going to make these removable so that when you put a new counter you can just Take these off, put the new counter in and then replace it, yeah. Ricky decided it was time to make his own routing table. So after quite a bit of struggling, I managed to get my little table made. So there's the router there, here's the table, and there's the router bit coming out. What that's going to allow me to do is take the frames and um, pretty much switch it on. And I'll just be able to just go over it. Just go over it. And router the edges 
around. So I've clamped these frames in place and I've taken a Sharpie and a Coke for a Coke and marked right around and I've checked the, the levels on them so that they're the same and the lineups that they all equal and um, these frames are slightly bigger than that than, than some of these places here that's fine what we're going to do is epoxy them in and then I'll route to the inside of this so that they look perfect on each other and what I'm doing is I'm putting some screws in and I'm going to epoxy all of these faces in because I'm going to hang the doors on the frame so I have a 15 more frame to put the door on Once our trimmings were all sanded and routed it was time to put them in place We first clamped them to see where we wanted to fit them Drilled our holes for our screws. Screw them in place. And made an outline with our permanent markers so we could have a border to know where to put them once we epoxied them all up. Once the epoxy had cured, Ricky went with a router to make the edges flush. She was looking good and finally starting to come together. Stay tuned for next week where we test out a stone chip coat on the interior hull and make a build up on our saloon seating area. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already and give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to become one of our awesome patrons, a link is provided in the description below. Thanks to our amazing new patron, Ronald Nevels. We appreciate your donation tremendously.